Saludos. Greetings. I'm Cesar Ruiz, the librarian at Ariana's Elementary School. I hope you are well in this difficult and perhaps confusing situation. Your patience and interest in your son or daughter's education is appreciated. This epidemic will not prevent us from continuing with the education of our students. With this in mind, chances are that you already have a Chromebook or a computer in your hands. We encourage you to make the best use of it in the education of your son or daughter. The purpose of today's video is to help those in grades K through second, but the same principle can be followed for those in higher grades. We will review the following. First, how to turn on the Chromebook. Second, introduction to the Clever Platform, the main program for educational material. And third, introduction to Google Classroom, a platform that teachers use to maintain the communication of assignments and grades. Let's start off with the first one, turning on the Chromebook. As you have possibly seen, the only thing you have to do to turn it on is to open it. If it doesn't, simply press the lock button on the right hand side. You will be brought to this screen. All you have to do is press the blue button that says next. Make sure you have your QR ready. This way, you can show it through the camera. All you do is get the card, lift it up to the camera, and we're in. If you notice, you're already automatically to Clever. Now, if you are not on Clever automatically, you'll be on a screen like this one. If so, don't worry. All you have to do is go here to Chrome, the internet. From here, it will guide you to Google page. And you'll notice on the right hand side, there's a blue box with the letter C. Press on this and we'll take you to Clever. Once here, you'll notice you're in a similar page as when you logged into the Chromebook. Older grades can use the left side, K through second can use the badge, the QR code again. Remember to allow the camera to let you see the QR code. Once you are logged in to the Clever page, you'll see all the apps available to the student. Google Mail is a key program for communication between parents, students, and teachers. In this case, once going into our mail, we can see who wrote the email. For example, in this case, it's the teacher and what it's about, a class invitation. In this case, this is very important to accept this type of email because it is inviting you to Google Classroom. The invitation will look like this. Make sure you press join. This way you are allowed inside the Google Classroom. This is its home page. For future use, you won't have to go through Google Mail, just press on Google Classroom or the picture of your teacher. From the home page or any page, this icon on the top left is a menu bar. Once you press this, it will show you what classes you have. This will take you to a different view of the same classes. For example, if you have special classes with special necessities. If you notice in this page, going back to the home page, this is Stream. On Stream, it's almost like social media. It keeps you up to date, but only on education. Next to the Stream link is Classwork. It's in this page where you will find homework and assignments from your teacher. Let's see an example. Daily Writing Journal. Let's click on that. 
This will take you to the assignment page. Notice here, it gives you an opportunity to create a document. Most of the time, if it's your first time, it will give you notifications about the buttons. In this case, just press the blue button. This one mentions to you the importance of turning in your assignments, marking it as done. Again, the notification, just press the blue button to make sure you can continue. Once you press this, you'll notice that either you'll bring a document there or it will ask you to make a copy. In this case, it tells us to make a copy. Make a copy. Again, if it's your first time using this, it will bring up a notification reminding you to turn in the assignment. With this box that comes up, remember, all you have to do is press the blue box saying, got it. Once you make the copy, you'll notice now you have a document up here. Let's press on the document. In this case, the teacher has one document for various days. We see Tuesday and Wednesday. You can type directly on this document. Make sure when you are done with this assignment that you go on the top right hand corner and press turn in. Once you do so, it will take you here, and again, if it's your first time, a notification will come up and you just have to press the blue box saying, you got it. Again, it's reminding you to make sure that you turn in an assignment. This is very important. I hope you found some benefit to this video. We will stay in touch, and we will get through this together. Remember, keep reading. Keep exercising your mind, and remember to be kind to everyone and yourself. Ciao.